What's up everyone, it's Rich Brecklin, your favorite Arizona real estate agent. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the biggest lies when it comes to moving to and living in Arizona. Now some of these, maybe you have that belief yourself and let me know at the end, what did I miss? What did I get completely wrong? I promise you will not hurt my feelings. So we're going to kick it off with number one that it is always hot like living on the sun when you call Arizona home. Now, yes, it is warm certain months of the year. However, you still get a winter feeling here just maybe without so much of the snow. I know a lot of people think it's going to be, you know, 100 year round, at least that is the feeling they get when they're told about Arizona or maybe from some disgruntled Arizona residents. However, it does get cold. I mean, this past winter, it was 32, 33 degrees for cold, some days only in the 50s. And yes, we actually saw snow flurries here in the valley. Thank goodness nothing stuck. It does get cold here. And depending on where you're calling home in Arizona, I mean, if you go to the Flagstaff, they get most more snow than most places. I mean, that's why it's called the snowball. They have skiing and snowboarding. So it does get cold here. Now, it's, you're not going to have, you know, those cold July days, but it's not just, you know, heat 24 7 365 so you do get to experience some of the seasons it may be just a little bit tweaked from what you're used to depending on where it is you're moving from arizona it's just a desert it is brown and dry and death well that could not be further from the truth yes we have the sonoran desert here and there is that desert life However, you can see plenty of green depending on where it is that you live. Now, we live in Gilbert. There are tons of neighborhoods with yards and green belts, and you can go hike in the mountains. We had a ton of rain lately, so there's a super bloom going on, uh, a lot, just a lot more than what you think about just being in the desert where everything is dry and dead. And there's also you know bodies of water and lakes around. I think a lot of people just don't realize that and they think it's just going to be just not pretty and you know I, it can really not be further from the truth so you know do a little bit more research before you just take what people think Arizona is and you'll be surprised I know we were because I was not expecting you know what it was that we got when we got to call Arizona home you have to be a cowboy if you call Arizona home Now, I'm not sure where this came from, but I know there are some areas where that cowboy life is still a real part of life. But Arizona is growing and growing and growing. Now, I do wear cowboy boots pretty frequently, but you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to own a horse. Uh, I mean, more again, more and more people have come here, more businesses have come here. It is very developed. But if you do want that space where you can live out your little cowboy dreams, uh, they have that here. So depending on where you live, but again, we live in Gilbert. Um, if I want to go ride horses, I can go to, you know, Santan Mountains and ride horses there. Not, uh, they don't have horses to I say rent, you rent horses, um, but you can go through a service or a charter, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to do that, you can, but you don't have to be that true cowboy to call Arizona home. All of the food in Arizona is spicy. Now you would think being so close to Mexico that the Mexican food here would be off the charts and there are some good places. However, <laughs> we're still trying to find that top notch spot. So if you know of one, please let me know because we had some good food, but I've honestly been a little disappointed. However, if you don't like spicy food, don't worry. You know, you can get some Sonoran food that is not all spice that is going to tear you up. Don't believe that. And there are some really great options when it comes to food and it does not have to burn your mouth. Now, I prefer spicy food, so I seek it. But if you don't, don't worry, you'll be just fine. Arizona doesn't have any natural beauty. Well, when people think Arizona, again, you think the desert and you also think, you know, the Grand Canyon, you know, the big hole. Uh, but there's more than that. You know, you have so many different mountain ranges. If you haven't lived anywhere where there are mountains, it'll be hard to live here and go somewhere else without it. 
That's one of our favorite things is, you know, seeing the sunrise, sunsets over the mountains, and we absolutely love it. And like I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of lakes within a very short drive of Phoenix Metro that you can call, not call home, but go visit, go fish, go kayak, go hang out. I mean, Canyon Lake, Saguaro Lake, uh, Lake Pleasant. There's tons of places to go. And it's more than just, again, what you would think just being brown and <laughs> dead and dry. So there is a lot of natural beauty here in Arizona, here in Phoenix Metro, that I think a lot of people just are not aware of. Eight, and I've heard some people say, Arizona is not family friendly. Now, for us, again, I have two daughters. We moved here really because of that reason, and it is ex it is family friendly. There's so much for our kids to do, the great schools. Um, again, we go hike, we go to the Phoenix Zoo, uh, the Diamondbacks game. Um, there's so many parks in each community. Uh, there's tons of stuff for our kids to do, and they love it. So I'm not sure where that lie came from, but we find Arizona to be extremely family friendly. There's always something going on and our kids love it. Arizona is only for retirees and golfers. So I know a lot of people think Arizona is just God's waiting room. Sorry if I offended you, uh, but just stick around because it's gonna get worse. And the don't even know me. It is more than that. And yes, it is a highly sought after place for retirees and with good reason. You know, Arizona used to be, you know, more affordable than it is now, but there's a lot going on in these retiree communities it's they're doing more than younger people so there's a lot going on in these retirees and yeah if you like to golf there's tons of golf courses here i mean tons um but it's more than that so there's more and more again people coming here from all over the country really all over the world so if you're watching this video you know maybe you're thinking about doing the same that's where most of my clients come from just like you watching me on youtube reach out and I get to meet people who move from all over, from Canada, from Mexico, from Europe, all over the United States, that get to call Arizona home, and they're not retirees, not all of them are golfers, but there's so much that draws people in here. It is more than just that. Arizona, it is just for tourists. Now, yes, we do get a big influx of tourism, which is pretty cool. You know, you get to call a place home where people pay to vacation. And my wife and I, we always talk about that. You know, what we're doing, you know, when we're not working is what people are paying and using their vacation time to go enjoy their life and something we just get to call life. But it is more than tourism. There, again, there's so much going on here and there's so many people that are maybe they vacation here and then they choose to call Arizona home. And yet it does get busy in the winter months because the weather here is uh, much better in the winter than a lot of places, you know, in the Midwest, for example. So it is more than just tourism. Uh, a lot of people have called Arizona home. The population is growing and growing. So I'm not sure where that came from, but not true. So there you have it. Some of the biggest lies when it comes to moving to Arizona. If you're looking to do the same, reach out. I would love to guide you through that process. My contact info is below. Watch this next video. It's Rich Brecklin, your Arizona realtor.